Midterm elections are just around the corner, and the Republican Party's most well-known mega-donors are at odds with the Republican president. In early 2018, the network of advocacy groups tied to billionaire industrialists Charles and David Koch pledged to spend close to $400 million on campaign contributions and policy initiatives in the lead-up to the midterm elections. Since then, Charles Koch has taken over leadership of the network after his brother David stepped down due to health reasons and its relationship with the GOP and Trump has frayed. A network spokesman suggested they could support Democratic candidates, and the deep-pocketed group most recently said it would not back the Republican candidate in North Dakota's tight Senate race. So how did Charles, the eighth richest person in the world, come to butt heads with the Republican president? After all, Trump has fulfilled many of the Koch brothers' fondest wishes with across-the-board tax cuts, massive deregulation, and the nomination of conservative judges. It all comes down to trade. Coke Industries is the second largest private company in America, and it has a lot to lose from protectionist trade policies. The Trump versus Coke feud gained steam after a recent gathering in Colorado, where Coke officials called Trump's trade policy protectionist and detrimental, and his leadership divisive. But tariffs are deeply contrary to the Koch brothers' free trade vision. As are record levels of GOP spending, and separating children from their parents at the border, which organization leaders have called abhorrent. In a Washington Post editorial in March, Charles Koch said tariffs reduce choice, competition, innovation, and opportunity. Those comments were followed by a multi-million dollar ad campaign attacking Trump's trade policy. While Charles Koch says his company would benefit from steel tariffs in the short run, there's no doubt tariffs would impact the price of goods from Koch Industries sold outside the U.S. Canada, for example, responded to American tariffs with a 25% levy on pipe for oil and gas pipelines and a 10% duty on paper goods and plywood, all Koch Industries products. Whatever the outcome, the feud between the Koch network and Trump is proving just how divisive American politics has become, even within the Republican Party.